everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. So what dirty old crap are we looking at today? Well, for your information, we're looking at a company today that specializes in reproducing dirty old crap. What? Tell me it's not more Mego Revival. Nope, but close. It's Figures Toy Company. So it's just some more nostalgic crap? What were you expecting? Rass Holly, hit the music! The 1970s, a time when the Mego Toy Company ruled the action figure landscape with their licensed 8-inch clothed figures. The diverse cast of well-made figures are forever tied into the pop culture of the decade. And even though Mego would go broke in 1982, the kids who grew up with them and generations to come would remain fascinated with these iconic figures. Jeez, Gorilla, it seems like we've been reviewing 70s stuff for months now. Oh, come on, Jess, it's not so bad. Just imagine what it was like back then. Attention, all you groovy chicks and dynamite dudes. Cause the Dog Man Show is on. Featuring the Dog Man Dancers. Hit the music, you jive turkey. It's me, baby! It's the Dog Man! And I'm back, back again, to show you some of the hottest toys on the street, Daddy! Some of the hottest things that you're gonna see, baby! And I've got them right here from the King, Daddy! From the Big Boss, baby! Of toys right now and right here in the 1970s! I don't know, you should know what year it is, baby! I don't even know why I said that, but let's take a look! Cause it's Star Trek, baby! Star Trek! Captain Kirk, baby! He's a Mego! That's right! They're the big boss! They're the ones that are making the best toys today! He's got 14 points of articulation, baby! He's got a phaser gun and a communicator, baby! He's the best, baby! Captain Kirk is my hero, baby! Mr. Spock, baby! Not Dr. Spock! Mr. Spock, baby! Look at him! Look at him! He's beautiful, baby! It is beautiful Vulcan face, baby! McCoy, the good doctor! Bones! You know why they call him Bones? Cause he like to get down, baby! And we got Scotty, baby! Scotty, he's running things in engineering, baby! I can't do it, Captain! I can't too much, Captain! I can't fuck Scotty, baby! And finally, my favorite, Hachi Machi! There it is! It's, it's Uhura, baby! <laughs> and she looks great in her little dress, baby, from the future! And speaking of the future, there's a movie coming out soon! I heard about it down the pipeline, baby! I've been hearing about it in the rumor mill, baby! I've been hearing about it on the streets, baby! It's called Star Wars, baby! <laughs> What's that gonna be? Man, I don't even know! I bet that movie's a flop! Ha ha ha! But maybe one day, baby! Maybe one day we get a Star Trek movie! Just hopefully, the first one won't be long and boring and bullshit. Oh well, baby, that's all the time I got for this week. I'm the dog oh, man. man. Oh. Well, that was another waste of time. That's for sure. Let's stop fucking around and get back to the review. Action figures and collectibles are big business. And by 1989, this was apparent to the founders of Figures, Inc., who started selling collectible toys and action figures via catalogs, magazine ads, and toy shows in the Northeast. 
Cut to early 2000s, and action figures and collectibles were as hot as ever. As Figures Toy Company began manufacturing classic retro 8-inch figures, effectively becoming the spiritual successor to Mego. Oh yeah, and there's wrestling figures too, but we'll get to that later. Figures Toy Company continues to cater to the hardcore Mego style figure fans, offering retro style figures based on DC superheroes and even more. Having only just gotten into this style of figure, my collection is still pretty small, but let's not waste any more time and take a look at some Figures Toy Company figures. All right, so let's start with some loose figures. Uh, first up is Shazam, or Captain Marvel, the original Captain Marvel, Billy Batson. Um, this is part of the world's greatest superheroes, the Repro. Repro Man. Um, that uh, Figures Toy Company does. This is uh, their version of Captain Marvel. They have a couple different ones. They have more of a uh, modern looking or, or, you know, more that looks like fucking what he actually looks like. Uh, you have this, this tan fellow. And this is based on the original Mego figure. And I believe his outfit is too. With the exception, I believe the original Mego figure had a yellow cape. This one has the white cape with the little... Uh, flirtily or, or, or whatever little fucking knots on the back there like it is so but it's still pretty cool and um, this one was actually donated um, by a friend of the show John Wild and uh, yeah awesome fucking figure I love Shazam he's one of my uh, or, or Captain Marvel if you will fucking see and then they got me saying it I love Captain Marvel Shazam is the fucking wizard by the way Captain Marvel is is the guy um, that says Shazam and uh, and gets all the powers uh, uh, that he has there and he can fucking have lightning bolts shoot down from the sky. He's pretty fucking dope But uh, yeah, and he's got the uh, the, the retro style body these things um, Eventually will need to be restrung. Um, I will leave the link below of, of the uh, video to show you how to do that um, That is a uh, Joseph Shepard's video on uh, restringing these uh, these Mego style figures the easy way and uh, he's, he's also recently cracked the code on uh, restringing the new Mego figures. Um, and that all works too. Um, because, I, and I, I've shown you before that the fucking, uh, if you know, fans of the show will remember, that the fucking arms will pop off easily. And we'll see that here in a little while. Okay, and some more um, repro or uh, retro style figures. But first we have a Supergirl who they sent to me just sort of bouncing around in the, fu in the fucking box. She has a retro style box. And... Um, don't be dirty. Don't be. I'm, I'm not talking about Supergirl's box. I'm talking about Supergirl's box, the box that she came in. See, don't be dirty. Anyway, um, there's the box right here, and um, and yeah, and here's Supergirl, and, and she's in the box. She's just floating around in there. And then also we have Davy Crockett, um, a part of the Western Heroes line. It says it somewhere on the box. It, 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 Western Heroes, there it is. Um, th that was originally part of the world's greatest superheroes in the Mego line, and then uh, eventually got spun out. Other companies took over and kept making them um, to varying degrees of quality. Um, this is a Figures Toy Company, or Classic TV Toys version of Davy Crockett, who happened to have been the most popular figure in the retro, or in the line, the vintage line, I should say. Retro is this. Vintage is the old one. Um, yeah. And uh, there he is, he comes with his gun and his fucking, uh, fucking leather water bag and his little hat. Um, and we're gonna see uh, when we open them up. So let's get these, uh, these figures out of the box. No need to fucking tear them open because they're not on a bubble. So there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Supergirl. I've got her on a stand because it's impossible to make her fucking stand up. She has these uh, dumb little booties on her feet. Um, I guess that is what the uh, the classic figure looked like back in the day. And I think in the comics, at least briefly, she did have the little boots. But I think I, I, I remember, I always remember her with the uh, the taller boots. But I do like the, the, the smaller emblem and the more blousy... Um, Supergirl outfit. What I don't like, and what I don't like on all the fucking Mego figures is like, what's with the fucking pantyhose? What's with this fucking, like, they put the flesh colored 
um, thing on here is supposed to like represent her skin. Um, I'm not a fan of that. And, um, but you know, otherwise it looks fine. And you know what, if you can't really blame Figures Toy Company for really anything on this because it is based on the retro, I'm sorry, on the vintage fucking figure um, from back in the day, the, the OG fucking world's greatest uh, superheroes Supergirl figure. And, uh, and it does, it looks like her. Um, and I put her on a stand here, of course, cause she can't fucking stand up on her own. But a cool thing about the stand is that you can, you can make her fly. Unfortunately, when it comes to these uh, these figures, the female figures, is that the bodies cannot be restrung. Um, at least I, not by any means that, that I know how to do it. Not an easy, there's no easy way to restring these bodies if there is a way. And um, they cannot be replaced with the S-type body because these heads aren't made to fit on them. So in order to replace them, you would basically just have to make a brand new fucking figure. And uh, these outfits don't fit on the S-type bodies. The S-type bodies are a little bit bigger when it comes to the female ones. So really you kind of are stuck with what you get when it comes to the female bodies. The bodies can be replaced. Um, they do have a better body that they make now, um, but it's only really slightly better. So this is kind of, we we're kind of stuck with what we get. Hopefully they will make some improvements, but uh, otherwise it's not a bad figure. All right, so he killed a bear when he was only three. It's fucking Davy Crockett um, with his um, fucking suede-ish shirt with the little fringe on it. He has his, his rifle and his uh, canteen bag and his little coonskin cap. Um, so he's pretty cool, and no wonder he was the most popular figure back in the vintage line um, when it comes to the Western heroes or, or whatever the fuck they were calling him back then. Because um, he is, he's fucking cool looking. And I think the, the Davy Crockett TV show or movie or whatever the fuck it was, the Disney one, that one was very popular at the time. And uh, yeah, pe kids were fucking way into Davy Crockett for some reason. Davy Crockett, real guy, um, I believe, uh, became a senator. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that. That's probably true. But yeah, Davy Crockett. Um, he's pretty cool. Um, he will have to at least be restrung. I do plan on giving him an S-type body eventually. All the male characters are getting fucking S-type bodies with the exception of the fat body guys. Maybe I'll make, maybe I'll make fucking fat Davy Crockett. How about that? We can, we can do fat, the fat body will fit on this fucking outfit. Um, so yeah, there he is. He's Davy Crockett and he's the king of the wild fucking frontier. But it's not all doom and gloom for the uh, Figures Toy Company because here and now, um, they are doing a Batman 66 line, and I want to show you these briefly. I'm, I'm going to do a longer video, I promise, um, as I get more of these later on. I do have a few more of these. Um, we're not going to look at them today. We're just going to look at Batman and Robin. Uh, Batman I got in the little fucking retro box. Um, it's very cool. It's got uh, images from the TV show. You got Adam West over there. Introduces the fucking Batcave on the back. You can actually pick that up on Amazon um, for hundred bucks or something like that comes with Batman and Robin probably should have just fucking did that anyway and got that and got these two anyway never mind fucking so there he is it's fucking Batman and we're gonna get these guys out of the box but first let's take a look at Robin Robin comes in this uh, sort of card back um, sort of bubble thing that the the more the more common of what you see from figures toy company this is sort of whatever that's clamshell that these things come in because you can actually reseal it uh, back up so it's actually pretty cool you don't have to tear this thing open to get inside of it you can uh, open it up and, and take the figure out and when you're fucking done looking at it you can put it right goddamn back and it, and it looks great you can put it up on a wall or, or display it or you can just throw this stupid thing away and and fucking have the figure out and display it like i like to so yeah and we have the uh the sort of collect them all in the back shows you a couple series is they're on a they're on a fucking like series seven or eight or fucking 15 right now they've made a ton of these and so look forward to seeing more of these in the future um but i wanted to give you a quick to show you right now because i know you're probably looking at these things and like they look like shit and uh yeah they look like the old fucking migos 
Um, so, you know, they're not going to look like modern figures, those, those fucking, uh, you know, the, the repro. Repro man. Um, ones. But these are our new sculpts. You've got Batman and Robin, and, um, yeah. Don't they look fucking incredible? Look at these guys. <laughs> They've got these great capes, great clothes. Um, they do have kind of shitty bodies. Uh, they can't be replaced with the S-type bodies because the heads and uh, hands and boots aren't compatible. I'll show you right here. They have these, uh, you can sort of replace them if you want to, and it's, it makes it easier to take the fucking clothes off of them, I'll tell you that much. Um, but they can be restrung. You can restring these figures. You can restring Batman and Robin. I do plan on um, restringing them here at some point. Uh, when I originally got Robin, he came in the package and his fucking arm was disconnected. Like, it wasn't even connected. Like, the fucking shirt was holding the goddamn thing on. Um, and I didn't know how to restring him at the time. It would have been a really easy fix. Um, but but I, uh, I contacted uh, Figures Toy Company and was like, hey, what the fuck? And they were like, oh, yeah, we'll just send you a new body. And they sent me out a new body, and he was kind of, this is like my first uh, my first custom build right here. <laughs> and I, I was so, I, I wasn't smart enough to get the fucking head off of the other body. I had to crack the body open to get the head off because these heads are hard. They aren't soft like the, like the fucking Mego head. But if you do work them a little bit, you can you, you can get them off. You just gotta be um, you, you know you just gotta be persistent. And I wasn't aware of that. So yeah, I have a broken Robin body now. Um, so you know, just for pieces or whatever. And uh, yeah, but they are very very cool. The details on these are awesome. A little thread right here. These aren't you know uh, there's not a lot of stickers or, or, or goofy shit on them. They do have you know the emblems or whatever. But like. This one's got a shiny, it's almost like metal. These nice little uh, belts and uh, the gloves and the, and the boots look like, you know, they look like they do on the TV show and the sculpts are just fucking beautiful. These are awesome figures, so look forward to seeing more of these. Okay, and finally, let's take a look at Tarzan. Um, Tarzan is another repro. Repro man from the old school world's greatest uh, superheroes line from back in the day, the Mego figures. Um, and he looks pretty much just like his, uh, his 1970s counterpart. Um, but they are a little bit, a little less cheaply or a little, a little cheaply made, but, but, but figures toy company did, um, make the rest of the of the friends he, he not only made tarzan uh, as shown here in his in his underwear uh he made jane and and korak the jungle boy and and miriam um so yeah and there's a big old fucking blurb here um about about <laughs> tarzan and they show him here with some cool art on the back it is very cool um, it, I'm, it, it, I'm glad that they got the copyright to do this, to recreate this uh, this Tarzan figure. And today we're going to take a look and see what he looks like on the inside. I also wanted to show you the clamshells. Uh, when they originally come, they have these little little things that seal them up. So, um, so you'll know if it's been opened. I got this on Entertainment Earth. Seven dollars. <laughs> Fucking awesome. So let's get this thing open and see what he looks like on the inside. All right, so here he is in his fucking goddamn nylon bodysuit. So one thing I, okay, so I know the original one, um, they they uh, made it so that uh, they put the little the little bodysuit on it so it would cover up all the wacky looking joints on the uh, the Type One Mego body that had the metal rivets and stuff. Um, this doesn't have that problem. The Type fucking Two uh, Tarzan didn't have that problem yet. They just continued on um, with this this horse shit. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some improvements. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this fucking this body stocking and we're gonna get rid of it because you know what? Yeah, I'm not. I don't need to fucking uh, maintain the, uh, the whatever the credibility of this is a repro. Repro man. Um, so we're gonna make it into a basically a custom. All right, so here he is. It's Naked Tarzan, and as you can see, he has his cheap, freaking uh, body. That look, look at that. Look, look at it's already, it's already falling apart. You can't really even fiddle with it too much before this shit happens. And um, 
and eventually what will happen is like one of the arms will pop off and then you'll have to keep reattaching it because he's got all this garbage inside all these fucking stupid elastic things I can restring this body, but you know what I really want to do is put him on an S-type body. Um, but first, what the fuck am I gonna do about this? Um, get rid of that thing. That's trash. All right, so that's gone. Um, but this we will save. We will save the the one-strap singlet that he wears. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna replace this body with an S-type body, and I'm gonna do that right now. So for those of you that did not know, um, the S-type body, um, if you haven't been watching the show, you would know if you were, um, the S-type body you can get at ClassicTVToys.com. Um, it is one of their, their main products. It is a, uh, a body that has no, it is bandless, as they say, because the whole thing is on ball joints. There's no silly little elastics, so he doesn't end up leaning fucking all weird directions or whatever. You can do, this is the deluxe one that has the double joints. Um, I thought this would be cool for Tarzan. Um, and uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking put this together with the, uh, we're gonna put Tarzan on the uh, S-type body. All right, and there he is. It's just as easy as that. Um, actually, I ended up uh, stripping the screws on this fucking thing um, for some reason. It, like the screws on these deluxe ones are really fucking tight. I'd actually recommend against using the deluxe body <laughs> and just go with the straight up retro style um, S type body. Um, and his in his uh, singlet is a little loose on there, but he looks pretty cool and he can be Tarzan. Like, well, that's Figures Toy Company. What do you think of these figures? Let us know down in the comments. And please get this guy to review something other than these dirty old dolls. That ain't happening. Anyway, for Jesse, I'm Dan Classic, and we'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Ras Holly, hit the music!